I'm Rennie, and welcome to VPN Mentor, your source for everything VPN. Picture this, you're in school working on an assignment about black holes and the struggle is real. Your palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. You never understood that quantum shit. You decide to look for a video explanation on YouTube. Those typically help you. Then suddenly, you're terrified. You want to run, but but can't. You're paralyzed. You've never seen anything so horrifying in your entire life. <gasps> your school has blocked YouTube. Arguably one of the most educational sites. Duh. But also just YouTube. I mean, it's basically a life necessity at this point. In desperate need of help from your friends, but also you just want a bitch. You quickly type Facebook into your browser. Damn. And then Instagram. No. Only to find that those sites are blocked too. Why? But then you start to think. I mean, there's obviously no shortage of questionable content on the internet. It makes sense that schools want to block some sites. The problem is school internet filters also mistakenly block content that students should be able to access, like YouTube, which is information. And what I ask you is education without information, you guys. You get all panicked about finishing the assignment in time until you find me. I just wonder how you got here, cause YouTube is supposed to be blocked for you, unless you're late to class or, or you're on your phone. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I'm here to tell you, chill dude, this is an easy fix. It's called a VPN, AKA virtual private network. Get one and you'll get access to all the information you need, whether on a school computer or on a personal computer connected to your school's Wi-Fi. But friends, please, be responsible. I don't want to have to tell your mom that her genius child, genius because you're using a VPN, is checking out questionable shit on the interwebs at school. Come now. And while you may be a genius for deciding to use a VPN, you definitely don't need to be one to actually use one. So how do you use a VPN to unblock websites at your school? Well, first things first, get a VPN. Many of them offer free trial periods and or money back guarantees. So I highly recommend making good use of that to explore your options. See the links provided in the description below. I really like NordVPN. It's the top ranked VPN on our site, VPN Mentor, where we have reviewed over 300 VPNs on the market. Yeah, we know our stuff. It's affordable and easy to use, making it ideal for first timers. And keep in mind that once you do decide to purchase, the longer the plan, the more value for your money. Right now, if you commit to Nord for a long-term package, you'll pay just a few dollars a month. That's more snack binging money for all those late nights at the library. You're welcome. Second, download and install your chosen VPN. If you go with Nord, you'll love its user-friendly interface and simple map display. That is, if you're human. I don't know, click this box. Third, depending on what you're trying to access, choose a server nearby or a server in a different country. A local server is enough to reach your home drive, and servers in other countries will help you reach all kinds of sites, including a bonus, Netflix. You know, for all its super educational documentaries, and nothing more when you're at school. And finally, your school may be smart. It may be preventing access to VPN sites, and with it, the download of certain file types. But guess what? We may be smarter, cause we can watch YouTube here. <laughs> Sorry, the truth can hurt. All you gotta do is install a VPN on your personal phone, tablet, or laptop instead of on a school computer. That way you can still access sites at school using its Wi-Fi. And NordVPN has apps for both Android and iOS. Just saying. The important thing is to download your VPN app before getting to school. But if you haven't and you're already at school, well then it's over, you're done. You can't do it. Just kidding. But you've probably reached this block page or something that looks like it instead of your VPN's website. Here's how to bypass the block. Disconnect from your school's Wi-Fi, use your phone to create a personal hotspot, and download your VPN using your phone's mobile internet. After installing the app, press Quick Connect and you'll be connected to the closest server. If you want to connect to the fastest server, scroll down the list of servers and when you're at your country of choice, press on the three dot menu and select fastest. Otherwise, pack those book bags and try your luck at home, brethren.
If you want to buy a VPN plan, make sure you check our coupon page to get a better deal on your purchase. Link in the video description below. And if you want to know more about any VPN provider, head to our review page. There's lots of info there, as well as expert reviews and up-to-date ratings so that you can compare VPNs in a virtual VPN competition and download the winner. While unblocking sites at your school is awesome, there are tons more reasons to get a VPN. Doing a semester abroad? A VPN will make sure you don't miss a thing happening at home. Good VPNs have airtight, military-grade security ensuring 100% privacy, so no one can spy on you and plant ads for baby shit everywhere online based on a single conversation you had at a party about a hypothetical. NordVPN offers easy access to all the content you want and need, even from your school's closed network. Oh, class dismissed. Come on, get out of here, guys. Your next class is waiting. But, oh wait, before you go, what's a black hole?